Hi everyone! Today, we're going to discuss about the nature of the roots of quadratic equations. As we recall, we already know the standard form of a quadratic equation and that is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and that a should not be equal to 0. We can apply various ways to solve the roots of a quadratic equation such as by extracting square roots, factoring, completing the square, and by using the quadratic formula. In this lesson, the quadratic formula plays an important role. To determine the roots of quadratic equations using the quadratic formula, we have x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The expression inside the radical b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant. The discriminant, represented by the capital letter D, is used to determine the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. When we say discriminant, it tells us the type of roots a certain quadratic equation have. And we have four cases. First, if the discriminant is zero, the nature of the roots are real, rational, and equal. Second, if the discriminant is greater than zero and a perfect square, or simply put, the discriminant is positive and a perfect square, the nature of the two roots are real, rational, and unequal. Third, if the discriminant is greater than zero and not a perfect square, or simply the discriminant is positive and not a perfect square, the nature of the two roots are real, irrational, and unequal. And fourth, if the discriminant is less than zero, meaning it is negative, the nature of the two roots are not real, or we can say it's imaginary. Either way, both are correct. But the question is, how are we going to solve for the discriminant? So, let's get things done and let us have our first example. Describe the roots of x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to zero. For the solution, we have to follow the super simple steps. That is, step 1, identify the values of a, b, and c with regards to the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So here we have a equals 1. Take note that if a variable has no number beside it, it means its coefficient is 1. And then b is equal to negative 4 and c equals 4. We are done with step 1. Let us have step 2. Substitute these values to the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. We have the square of negative 4 minus the product of 4, 1, and 4. The square of negative 4 is equal to 16. And the product of 4, 1, and 4 is also equal to 16. So, 16 minus 16 will give us a discriminant equal to 0, which leads us to our third step. Since the discriminant is equal to zero, therefore, the nature of the two roots are real, rational, and equal. This can be checked by determining the roots of the given quadratic equation using any of the methods of solving quadratic equations. Let us have another example. Describe the roots of x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals zero. Following the same steps, we have step 1, a is equal to 1 b is equal to 7, and c is equal to 10. Step 2, substitute. We have 7 squared minus the product of 4, 1, and 10. So 7 squared is equal to 49, and the product of 4, 1, and 10 is 40. So we have 49 minus 40. So our discriminant is equal to 9. Since the discriminant is positive and is also a perfect square, therefore, the nature of the two roots are real, rational, and unequal. Again, this can be checked by determining the roots of the given quadratic equation using any of the methods of solving quadratic equations. And that's how you determine the nature of the roots of quadratic equations. I will let you handle the next two examples.